Standard resin is often quite brittle, especially when you have a small piece that's really detailed and it's a major drag when you've printed it, you got it ready and you drop it. And sometimes it's just a little chip, but sometimes it's cracked all the way through and it, it's just so irritating. A lot of people like to use resin for tabletop figurines and sometimes these can be handled like a lot. And sometimes by people who are not really familiar with handling a resin piece and might be a little bit clumsy. So because these are very, very delicate, they might have like long extremities, thin parts, swords, shields, arms outstretched perhaps. You gotta be careful with these. But wouldn't it be good if you had a more flexible, more impact resistant resin for these uses? That is why we're now offering our tabletop resin. And this is a great resin for this kind of purpose because it is twice as resistant to impact as our eco resin and it can be stretched 20% before breaking. It is also easy to print and as easy as our normal eco resin. So if you're familiar with this, this is going to be no problem. It is also a rather liquidy resin. It has super low viscosity and it actually feels like there's water in there when you shake it for the first time. By the way, always shake your resin like this. I see people doing it like this a lot. That's, that's all wrong. You gotta do it like this. Anyway, you can increase the lift and retract speed because of the low viscosity. So you can go a bit faster. And if you're using a printer like the Anycubic Photon Mono M5S Pro, which has a heated chamber, you can go even faster. But going back to the material properties of this resin, we have prepared a little test to show you exactly how flexible this material can be. Okay. Oh, God. oh it's flexing. Oh my God, it's still going. This stuff is crazy. Ugh, there we are. Finally. The other interesting thing about this material is that you don't generally need a primer to paint. Now, generally I would always recommend a primer. It's just a good idea. It doesn't matter what you're printing before you actually start painting so that the paint actually sticks to your model. But a lot of people like to use a primer like a spray primer and these are great for FDM prints but they're not so great for resin prints because with an FDM print you have layer lines this is good it will smooth it out it looks more more even the surface but for a resin print which is highly highly detailed down to the micrometers it's not a good idea it tends to smooth out the details as well and you want to keep those so not using a spray primer is a good idea to keep those filigree details of a resin print clear so that it looks just as good as when you viewed it in the slicer. I'm using a Rebel paints here. We have their huge range of enamel and water thinnable paints. There's a link down in the description so you can check it out yourself. Is this the kind of resin that you want for your tabletop pieces? Let us know in the comments below if you have a project coming up that would be suitable for this resin. And if you like this video, don't be afraid to click on that like button and that subscribe button too. And we'll see you again next time. Later.